Hey there, it's Liz from No Trace. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a pair of pajama pants using patchwork fabric or whatever knit fabric you have laying around and also using your own pair of pajamas as the pattern. So let's go. In order to make pajama pants, you're gonna need a pattern. So you could definitely buy a pattern online. I'm gonna show you really fast how to draft a pattern using your own pants. You'll need a long piece of paper or you could tape together several pieces of paper and then the pants that you want to copy and a marker. Take your pants and fold them so that the front is folded towards the front. And then you're going to lay it out and line up the legs nicely with each other. Now, if you had a pair of pants that you were done with that were super worn out and you couldn't wear anymore, you could definitely cut them apart and, you, and trace the fabric that way. But if you have pants that you like that still work, this approach works great, especially with knit fabrics. Just take your marker and trace all the way around the pants, trying not to shift the pants as you go. I'm actually going to add on near the waistband to make them a little bit taller than what we see here. And then just trace along the pants. Now you don't really need to add a seam allowance because we are not drawing right under the pants. We're drawing right next to the pants. So that's giving a little bit of seam allowance. Let me move this down. And in addition, at the folded line up here, we are adding in a little bit of width, even though this is going to be a fold. The nice thing about making pajama pants is that this is a really great beginner project they don't have to come out perfect. It's a really nice introduction to making clothes for yourself. I'm gonna be cutting out two pieces of fabric on the fold. This here is the fold line for this particular pattern. Like I said, just drawn, traced around my pajama pants. So what I wanna do is get my fabric and fold it up. Once my fabric is folded neatly, I'm gonna get my pattern piece, lay that on top with the folded, the edge you're supposed to fold on the fold. And I'm gonna secure this with a couple of heavy things, but you could also pin your pattern in place or just carefully hold it in place. Then I'll take some chalk and trace the pattern all the way around. As soon as it's traced, I'm going to carefully cut it out, making sure not to shift the fabric at all. Now that it's cut out, I'm gonna sew with a straight stitch from this spot on the fabric, the sort of crotch spot, all the way down this leg using a half inch seam allowance. And I'm not gonna sew this part of the pants yet. I'm just gonna do this one seam right here with a straight stitch. And then I'm going to finish the raw edges with the serger, but you could also finish the raw edges with a zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger. Once this leg is sewn up on this one seam, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat those steps with the other fabric that I have right here. Once both legs, pant legs are sewn up, what we're gonna do is turn one of the pant legs right side out and then put it inside the other pant leg. Once we've got the pant leg inside the other pant leg, what we wanna do is line up this seam so that we can sew the two pant legs together along this curved edge that we haven't yet sewn. So we're gonna sew the right sides together starting at the top and going all the way down this curved seam to the other side, but we're not gonna sew up this straight waistband area just yet. We're gonna do from this corner down and around and up to over here. Now that I've stitched this center seam, I'm gonna pull the pant leg out so that 
I have the two pant legs side by side and then I can get towards the last couple of steps which are creating the waist line, creating a hem up here and a waistband and then also hemming the bottom edges. I'm going to do a super simple hem on the um, on the legs. I'm just going to serge the raw edge then I'm going to press it and sew a hem of about one inch for both legs. So the pant legs have a super simple hem and next we'll do the waistband. I searched the top edge of the waistband. You could also do a zigzag stitch to finish off that raw edge. And next I'm going to fold the waistband over about an inch and press it with the iron and pin it and get ready to sew it. Now that it's pinned in place, I'm going to go do a straight stitch all the way around, but I'm going to make sure to leave an opening of a few inches so I can get some elastic inside the waistband. I've measured a piece of elastic around my waist and I'm going to use a safety pin to thread the elastic through the waistband and then I will stitch the elastic together with a zigzag stitch. Once you thread the elastic through and zigzag stitch the elastic to itself, you can sew up the hole that you left in the waistline and then just trim any loose threads, turn your pants right side out and you're done. I have another video that walks you through the steps of making the patchwork fabric. So I'm going to link to that right here and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the No Trees channel to get notified about all of our videos. We put out a new video every single week on zero waste sewing, crafting, and lifestyle tips. If you're looking for a community of people who enjoy projects like this one, there's a link in the description box below this video to our Zero Waste Sewing and Crafting Facebook group. I'd love to see you over there.